There's been much speculation recently about the health of Michael Sata. But now, after the confirmation of his death, the question of a successor is on everyone's lips. Vice President Guy Scott has been appointed acting president. According to Zambia's constitution, he can only act for 90 days. Then presidential elections have to be held. Next one. Scott isn't allowed to run for office, as his parents aren't indigenous Zambians. Unless, of course, the constitution is amended, something Scott supports. The current constitution under which we are operating it right now, the one which happens to exclude me from standing for the presidency on the grounds that my father and mother were not Zambians, that was amended to introduce that restriction in 1996, together with another restriction excluding chiefs, traditional chiefs. It was actually aimed at Kenneth Kaunda by the MMD government of the time. So that was an amendment to the constitution which has far-reaching implications. Someone else said to have his eye on the presidency is Defence and Justice Minister Edgar Lungu. He's the Secretary General of the ruling party, the Patriotic Front, and recently led the Golden Jubilee celebrations in Sata's absence. Then there are two other main contenders, Finance Minister Alexander Chikwanda and former Justice Minister Winter Kabimba. Democracy. Kabimba has also served as acting president before and was once widely considered Sata's natural successor. But Sata sacked him in August without giving any reason. Kabimba has reportedly been fanning divisions within the party. Chikwanda is Sata's uncle and in the past has also stood in for his nephew. Many favour Chikwanda, but the finance minister says he isn't interested because of his age. Sata is the second Zambian leader to die in office after Levi Mwanawasa in 2008.